How are we doing today, guys? Rod, are you still there? All right, Mike Griffith. Get the unmute button there. Sorry about that, Amir. Uh, Kirby was talking a little bit about the size of these Clemson wideouts. Can you talk about your size and uh, your thoughts about matching up with guys like Justin Ross? Um, yeah, they have a very, very big physical set of wideouts. So we, we're looking forward to that. And uh, we just plan on all of us using our size and ability to be able to match and play these receivers the best we can. Let's go to Chip Towers and Mark Weiser. Yeah, Amir, actually, I was going to ask you that thing, uh, uh, that very thing, but the, their wide receiver core in particular, uh, can you compare them to any that you've played against so far? And uh, you're a tall guy as it is, but uh, would you rather be facing uh, really tall guys or really fast, or are they both? Um, you know, for me being a big DB, like I've always, I've always loved going against bigger receivers, you know, smaller receivers is always, you know, being being a big DB is always like we like matching with bigger people. So I think that them being big and physical and us having big physical corners too, it'll be it'll be a fun game. Mira, uh, obviously you guys have, have spent the whole offseason trying to, to get the secondary uh, shored up after all the losses you guys had in terms of guys going to the NFL and transfers. How do you feel about the, the group as a whole? And, uh, you know, are you in position to start, you think? Um, I had to talk to Kirby Smart about that, but as a group, though, I feel like we're I feel like we're ready. You know, we've been working, we've been grinding, preparing ourselves to be the best we can be this season. So I feel like the hard work and, and practice and dedication that we put in, it'll all pay off in due time. Let's go to Seth Emerson and Jake Rowe, please. All right, let's go to Jake Crow. Amir, uh, I'm listen. It's the fifth year, and uh, you know you, one way or another, it, it you know the fact that you're speaking to us seems to indicate that you're going to be on the field and you're going to have a role. How excited are you for that? I mean, I know you've played special teams. I know you got some run last year in the in the Chick Fil A Bowl. But what is it like, kind of going into this game and, and having a chance in in your fifth year to to really make an impact and to maybe take on a larger piece of the pie? Um, it's truly exciting. You know, I'm really just looking forward to being out there with my brothers and doing what we do every day, just having fun and doing what we love. So it, it's, it's exciting. You know, I can't wait to be able to just put on the red and black and be out there to really like play for each other, you know, build our connection. We've been trying to focus and emphasize all throughout the offseason. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go to Brandon Sudge and then uh, Dean Leggy. Hey, Amir. Um, I'll kind of follow up on that. So like over these last five years, what do you feel like has led you to stay with this program instead of going somewhere else in an age where the transfer portal is such a popular thing? Um, and like, who are you kind of like um, sharing this opportunity with, I guess, kind of soaking in this moment with the fact that you are going to have some uh, significant uh, playing opportunities? Um, I mean, could you repeat the question one more time? I want to make sure I hit everything. Yeah, yeah. So I was just saying, like, in an era where where a whole bunch of players are going in and out of programs, I mean, what was the thing that led you to stay at Georgia despite not having too much uh, playing opportunity over these last few years? Um, truly, it's, it was my teammates and my. It really, was, it was the whole environment. I felt like I felt like guys, like one guy's time and words, different for everybody, and so I felt like I couldn't put someone's situation and, and put that on myself and blame things. So I just took every day as a chance to get better, learn, and and be here. My brother's like, I've been here with this team for a while now, so I feel like the connection I've built and bond I've built is, is one to none. So I so so truthfully, just I, I wanted to be here and play with them and have fun with them. So that was one of the major things. Hey, I wanted to ask, uh, how do y'all make sure you're not – sort of playing the game during the week. There's a there's always the urge to kind of get hyped up during the middle of the week and play the game on Monday and Tuesday. Kirby was talking about that earlier. I wanted to get your your thoughts on that. Um yes, yeah. Coach, coach is very big on taking everything day by day. We don't want to 
think of oh Saturday this Clemson that like we want to think okay it's Monday how can we how can we be good on Monday it's Tuesday how can we be good how we can be better from our learn from our, our mistakes Monday and focus on today and make today our best day so we try to emphasize and take everything day by day be to perform and because once you get to thinking in the past like, you can't live in the past we want to start we kind of we kind of emphasize living in the present and staying in the present because that'll that'll make you your best you and allow you to be at your best when it comes to being on the field. All right, let's go to uh, Stuart Steele and Connor Riley. Hey, Amir, kind of a similar question. How do you, as, a, as an older player that's been here for a few years, that's been around a lot of big games, how do you help some of the young guys uh, stay calm and stay ready for a big game like Clemson? Um, like, like when it goes back to the last question, taking everything step by step, you know, you can't, you can't you can't think of oh I'm trying not to mess up. You want to think of how like I can be the best at this. You can't think of oh how can I do this to not mess up. You want to have more of a mindset of oh I'm going to do this right. How can I do this right? So really just being there for the guys. You know, let them know that you know it's it's a game. Like we we've been doing this. Like we practice every day. Like we're doing what we love and and having fun with it. So just think of that while you're out there. Don't let the moment get too much and and get to your head. Hey, Amir, I wanted to ask what you've seen out of Jermaine Burton and how he's progressed this fall. I know he's been battling a little bit of injuries, but where is he at sort of heading into this first game? Um, Jermaine's a very good receiver, and I look forward to seeing him have a, have a day this upcoming weekend. You know, our young guys, we have a very talented wide receiver group, I believe. So I'm just excited to see them go out there and explode and make plays. Let's go to uh, Jed May and Davis Baker. Amir, we, we've mentioned the size of, of the Clemson receiver several times. Kirby said they're really good at – at, you know, making plays on those 50-50 balls. Take me inside the mind of a cornerback against guys like that. I mean, do you have to change anything about your technique or anything to, to sort of stay prepared for, you know, jump balls, 50-50 balls, anything like that coming your way? Um, yes, sir. Well, when we when we get to any any for any receivers really, you know, you gotta approach you gotta approach your your game and mindset differently for each one. So I, I say when it comes to big receivers, we're thinking, you know, you gotta be more heavy, you gotta be more physical because they're big and we're big. So it it, it could be a lot of, you know, just contact the context of being able to just be strong and and know the type of balls that they want to throw to bigger receivers will help you in the light a bit better. Hey, Amir, we've talked about the transition within the DB room pretty much all offseason. How has your relationship with those guys, uh, I guess, progressed off the field uh, since then? Um, Like I said, we're a brotherhood. We're all, I, I say we're all locked in. You know, anytime somebody needs something like, they're there. I'm there for them. Anytime I need something, like my guys are always there for me. So we always try to keep it real tight in our room because we know, like, to be able to be our best on the field, like, you got to have a real connection. You can't just be out there on the field just trying to make plays. You got to be, you got to be brothers for real and actually understand each other. Like throughout this offseason, we we focused up, we focused a lot on learning each other's whys and just building up that connection. So I feel like that's also helped us out a lot and it's allowed us to be a better group overall. Okay, Amir, thank you for your time and uh, have a good rest of your day. Thank you, too.